Here's an amazing device. It's a DVL 700 laser disc player. And you can put out your CD and put the CD in here. And when you press the button, it goes into the machine. And there's two lasers, and one is for uh, DVDs, other ones for music. And you can see it actually switches the head like a transformer there. And then it chooses the right one for the right disc. But this machine wasn't always like that, so I had to have a look. It had it was the fuse was keep on blowing, so I'm taking out the power supply board to have a look at what the issue is. There's about uh, four screws on the circuit board here, and also the tray was stuck out. Normally, you can slide the tray out by pushing the little gears inside, but this one has something stuck in there, so I had to do it this way. You can start taking out the electronic uh, power supply board. There's also a couple ribbon cables that you need to disconnect in there. You can see there, you just pull them up gently. With those disconnected, you can remove the power supply board there, uh, just taking it out and having a look. So with that board out, we can use our multimeter to test out some components. I immediately ch uh, check out the diodes and stuff like that. And I noticed on the uh, primary side that there was this shorted diode right here and on right here there's also you can hear there's a, a low continuity here so there's some issue around this circuitry so I decided to take out this diode here it has the little yellow black band there and so just using my soldering iron I was able to remove that and with it removed we can test it out and we should have some voltage, but this was given a complete short. You can see it's zero, zero there. So basically it's a shorted component. And that's why the device was keep on blowing the, the fuse. Here's the model, the, the number there of the diode. And with that, uh, we can now replace our power supply board. It's a little bit tricky getting those cables in, but if if you go slowly using some tweezers you can get those cables in and now it turns on but there's a couple more issues this one had a power supply issue and also the button and it wouldn't slide out the trays because there was a component uh, some plastic piece that was broken off inside and getting stuck so I had to remove the two screws here to look at this component that makes it so that this doesn't slide back and forth. With those screws out, just take it up and watch out that there's this little spring as well. And you can see that little white plastic piece right there. It's getting caught. So I got that removed. I'm not too sure where this goes, but yeah, I think it has something to do with the big tray and the big tray still doesn't really fully function. So, but the uh, DVD drive works, so that's good. And then using your tweezers, you can reconnect that spring. With that, we can push it up and you can see that the trays do go in now before they were not coming in and out. So here we go. Press the power button. The CD tray goes in and put in my CD and it will look at it and start to spin my CD. And look at that, it even changes the laser head. Amazing. And there we go. So if your laser disc is not working, it could be that diode there. It also, it could be some things getting stuck in there so that the trays don't come out. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you. I just can't get enough to watch that uh, laser head changing something from reminds me of something from the matrix or something okay please like the video and subscribe